Hi, Rob here. Today I want to share my do-it-yourself side-by-side dual monitor stand. With COVID, um, I'm able to work at home now more than 50% of the time, and it's really nice to have two large monitors side-by-side -side for work as well as when I'm on my own time doing personal stuff. So let me show you how I built the stand. Here we go, a do-it-yourself side-by-side dual monitor stand. I'll give you a look at the finished product first. There we got two side-by-side -side monitors. These are 24 inch space underneath for my work and personal laptops. And I have a wireless keyboard and mouse. I started by going to Home Depot and getting two one by 12 by four foot pine boards. And here are all the pieces cut out. Here are the legs on the right and the left, this back boomerang shaped piece, that's a shelf behind the monitors where I mount the power supplies and the docking station. And then these two boards here, they'll be vertical and they're what the monitors are bolted to. The leg is 17 inches tall, because I found that's a good height for my desk. And then this little cutout here is seven inches above my desk surface that's to where the bottom of the monitor will rest. That way the monitor is at eye level for me. And the little shelf is two and a half inches deep. The base is seven and a half inches wide to give the uh, stand stability so it will not tip over. And the board the monitors are bolted to is five and a half inches wide. The boomerang piece is three inches wide. And here you can see the boomerang piece is 29 inches from uh, end to end. And the boomerang piece is set back five and a half inches. That way the monitors are on angle and they're not straight in front of me, but there's a little angle. Pretty simple to build. I used my palm sander, some wood glue and a staple gun to put it together. Here's the completed stand from the front and from the back. Here's my shelf and where I will bolt the monitor scoop. I did not like these little wings sticking out on the end. So I went ahead and cut the wing off as well as the sharp corner on the shelf. You can't see them when the monitors are mounted, but I just didn't like them, so I cut them off. Here you can see I've trimmed the wing, trimmed the shelf. When I went to mount the monitors, I did not have a drill press, so I had to oversize drill the holes on the bottom to get my bolts to fit in and match up with the bolt pattern on the monitor. And then to give the monitor stability, I took this little metal piece and bent it to match the bend or the angle of the monitors. And then I used some Gorilla Glue and stucco tape to glue it on the back of the monitors to hold them together. I also put these little angle clips on the top with Gorilla Glue and then a screw just to give it stability so things don't wiggle around. Now let's go around one by one. Here's my Wi-Fi camera that I mounted. And then here's the power strip with a single cord that I plug into a receptacle that powers everything. And then here's my docking station, the docking station power supply, the actual docking station, and then this is the line from the docking station that plugs into either my personal or work laptop. My personal laptop, uh, it's older, so it didn't work to power it from the docking station. So I have a power supply for the personal laptop. And then I also have this uh, USB cable to charge my iPhone. So pretty much self-contained. And then here from the front, finished product, the two side-by-side 24-inch -side monitors space underneath for my laptops and the wireless keyboard and mouse. Good luck to you if you choose to build one yourself. It was a lot of fun, but the best part, I get to use it every day, whether I'm doing work or personal stuff. Good luck. To review more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.